The enemy has been destroyed. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The writer of Hebrews in these two verses teaches us what the Lord Jesus Christ accomplished through his death on the cross. He tells us that through his death, he destroyed the one who had the power of death, that is the devil. The devil has been destroyed. Now, when we say destroyed, doesn't mean he's annihilated and gone into no existence mode. No, the devil is there, his demon spirits are there, but Jesus destroyed the devil. He rendered him powerless. He crushed the head of the enemy. It's like Jesus has, tri it is Jesus has triumphed over the enemy and has given us the victory. So, when you and I deal with the devil, we have to deal with him from the perspective of what Christ has done on the cross. Christ has crushed the head of the serpent. Christ has disarmed principalities and powers. And now we learn in Hebrews 2, 14 and 15 that Jesus has destroyed the devil. So we are facing an enemy who has been destroyed, who has been conquered, who has been overpowered, who has been overthrown. So when you face the devil, remember that he has been overthrown. He has been conquered. He has been defeated by the Lord Jesus Christ. So when you and I resist the devil, we are resisting a defeated enemy. We are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from a place of victory. The victory has already been won. The enemy has already been defeated. And we are fighting from that place to enforce victory in areas of our lives and in areas of the lives of people that we are ministering to. So don't magnify the devil more than what he really is. Deal with him as an enemy who has been defeated, who has been destroyed through the cross of Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible teaches us. And that's the way we fight against the enemy. You and I need not have any fear, need not be intimidated by the devil or his evil spirits. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we magnify you. We praise you that you have destroyed the one who has the power of death. And right now, Lord, I just pray for those who are listening to this program. I take authority over every evil work that may have come against their mind or their body or their emotions. I destroy the works of the devil. I destroy every evil work against them and I release them, loose them from it. Let them experience God complete release in their body and mind from every work of the enemy. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.